Dirt and dust storms of the Dust Bowl era were just the beginning of farmers' problems in the 1930s. What were some of the other problems they faced? As a severe drought ravaged the Great Plains and the huge dust storms further altered the ecology of the region, new waves of pests began sweeping across the prairie. The worst of these new varmints were jackrabbits. Jackrabbits breed at an amazing rate, producing as many as eight young a month. Normally, jackrabbit populations are kept at normal levels because of their natural predators such as coyotes. However, during the Dust Bowl, those predators had either died or moved on to other regions in search of water. With no natural predators, the jackrabbit population surged to unbelievable levels and they became a major pest across the plains as they ate grass and crops. In an effort to reduce the jackrabbit population, residents across the Dust Bowl region held rabbit drives, rounding up the animals and disposing of them. In one rabbit drive, which took place in Kansas, they captured more than 35,000 rabbits in one afternoon. Grasshoppers became another nightmare during the Dust Bowl. Just like the jackrabbits, the grasshoppers' natural predators, birds and rodents, had moved on in search of water. Grasshoppers traveled in swarms across the land, with as many as 23,000 insects per acre. They devoured virtually everything in their path. Many efforts were utilized to try and curtail the plague of grasshoppers. The National Guard burned infested fields and even crushed the insects with tractors. The Civilian Conservation Corps spread large amounts of insecticide, which was made from arsenic, molasses, and bran. Inside houses, other types of pests were dangerous as well. Poisonous centipedes and deadly spiders infiltrated homes in search of shade or water. There are some reports of women filling entire buckets full of these types of pests. Static electricity created a different type of danger. Friction caused by blowing dust particles rubbing together and against metal objects created large amounts of static electricity. This electricity was powerful enough to kill crops and even knock a person unconscious. Many Dust Bowl survivors remember seeing blue arcs of static electricity at night coming from windmills and barbed wire fences. These were just a few of the additional dangers that many people endured during the Dust Bowl. <laughs>